Okay, we're starting to get a, just a little bit harder now with the, the graphing section. Uh, for the, again, for those who remember from the 090 days, you know, what you're kind of doing in the 055 is kind of like the harder parts of the graphing section. Now, this is writing the equation of lines. Now, you're going to see a few of these coming up now, but writing the equation of a line, uh, you really do need a slope and a point. So everything has to have a slope and a point in. Now, fortunately, this question here does have a slope and a point in. The slope is negative 4, and the point we have on the line is 3, 5. x is 3, y is 5. So you've got all the information here. Again, I'll, we'll be doing some harder ones later. But now, it wants the equation of the line. Now, notice on here, there are two different ways of doing it. One method, which I think a lot of people are familiar with and you like, is just throw those numbers into y equals mx plus b, because that's what you're looking to find. You're looking to find this form of the, of the graph, of the equation, okay? y equals something, all right? So let's just throw these numbers in here. Right, see that? y is 5, okay? There's y, it's 5, so I'm going to put it right there. Equals, remember, here we go, here's the slope, negative 4, so I'm going to put that there. What's x? Here it is. It's 3. So I'll put in parentheses. 3. Okay, so there we go. y equals mx plus, now what you don't know is the y intercept, okay, b. Okay, so basically that's what you're looking for. That's the only thing that's missing. So, 5. Oops, that's how Randy's looking. 5. 5. Ugh, let me get the eraser down there. Alright, there we go. I'll get a bit better. 5 equals negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Okay, and um, plus b. So, of course, to find b, we need to add 12 to both sides. Okay, that's gone. Add 12. Let's make a better add sign. And can you see that b equals, that's going to give you 17, isn't it? 17. Okay, so that is b. Right, so yeah, you've got to finish this off uh, because the final answer is going to be this. y equals, right, remember, what's the slope? It's in the question. That's the number that goes next to the x, so negative 4x. Uh, remember, plus b, but we've found b is 17. Okay, so there we go. That's the answer. y equals negative 4x sorry, plus 17. That's the answer. Now, supposing I use this method. Now, some of you might know this. Now, this equation here is called the point-slope equation, not the slope-intercept. Okay, remember, over here, I found the answer. That there is the slope-intercept because it's got a slope in there, the negative 4, and the intercept is 17. And again, okay, that's, the, that's just the way I write it. That's the slope intercept. This is called the point slope because it's got a point x1, y1, and it's got the slope m. The other y and the x are there for you to create the equation. Remember, it's going to be y equals something x, and well, the answer is y equals negative 4x plus 17. But that's what the other y and the x are there for. So here we go, watch. y minus, what's the y value? Again, back here, it's 5. Equals. What's the slope? Remember, it was negative 4. I'm just putting the numbers into the equation. x, can we keep that one? Minus, and what's the x? It's 3. Now be careful, you know, if you get some negative uh, points, remember, watch your double negatives, okay? Think about it. Okay, this, this was nice because everything was positive here, apart from the slope. Here, I need to do the distributive law. I've still got y minus 5 on this side. Distributive law, negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 3, be careful, is positive 12. Now watch this. Ready? What's the only thing I need to do to get to y equals? Add the 5. And can you see, hopefully, if you're looking ahead of me, if I add a 5, I'm going to end up with exactly the same answer as previously. Okay. y equals negative 4x plus 17. Okay? So... Kind of your choice, really. Do you want to just throw the numbers into y equals mx plus b? The only downside of that is, remember, you've still got to write the equation. Right? All you're doing is finding b. Don't just leave it at there. Remember? y equals negative 4x, because negative 4 is in the question, plus 17, because that's what you found. With the 1 on the right-hand side, put the numbers in, come straight out, okay? But it's your choice. There we go.